Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creating Process 3. We are back with another graphic design tutorial. We're gonna learn how we can use masking text effect in Adobe Photoshop. In this tutorial, we're gonna create two designs. If you see the first design, we have used an image and we have used text and we have clipped it to it using the masking tool. And after that, we have given some vector designs, added some graphics and completed this design. In the same way, we have used the same techniques and created out our second design similar to that. So in this tutorial, we'll go step by step process on how you can use clipping mask option to create some amazing text effect. These are two designs which we're going to create using the tools. So let's begin with the designing process. So for our first design we're gonna bring in our image right and after that we're gonna remove the background using the uh, Photoshop background removal tools and as well as we can use other option that is AI tool which I'll talk about it later on and after that we'll clip it to the text and create all this amazing text effect and after that I'll create a uh, pattern something like this and we're gonna use pattern by creating our own pattern so let's begin with it so i have got my image over here so here's our image i'll just drag and drop it to our uh, photoshop file here on our artboard right enter and here it is now to remove the background there are multiple ways to remove it so i'm going to show you the easy ways so first of all let's convert this into layer convert this into layer okay and simple now uh, the very simple way is selecting this layer and go to properties and if you go into properties under quick action you see remove background and if you don't find uh, properties you can go to windows and check properties and you'll be able to see these attributes over here now if i just click on this remove background it will automatically remove the background very simple very easy but there are few things which we can see over here it uh, doesn't removed some section over here and it got uh, removed some section which was a part of the image and it got removed because of it so there are some things which we need to work on over here on the way let's control z okay now on the way we can remove this is using quick selection tool magic wing tool and object selection tool so i'll use the object selection tool and i'll just use this rectangle tool over here okay and just click and drag and set, and it will automatically detect the object in our region in our image right and i'll go to layer and apply mask and it will remove the background see now it's a little bit better in terms of uh, to over the head and here but as you can see there are some things uh, I'll just uncheck this and here now some region has been removed and here as well so I need to do the corrections over here so what I need to do is I'll just uh, undo this right here's the selection we need this so uh, press shift to add and just click and drag and this will add that section I'll add few more region yes in the same way here as well I'll just press shift and click and drag this will add that section here as well click and drag do the same over here and here as well here as well I'll just do a little bit of addition like that and like that and if you want to remove this region I'll just press alt and subtract this region now i'll just leave it like that and i'll just apply mask now to do further adjustments what we'll do is over here we'll go to select and mask and under this we got these two tools the first one is quick selection tool so with the quick selection tool i'll just select these regions properly okay the regions which are left out make it a little bit smaller and just select it here as well just select this region properly fill it up and now I'll use this tool that is refine edge brush tool and just click and drag and it will remove unwanted uh, like shapes and it will leave only the hair patch something like that like we are giving some hair look over here and just remove the rest here as well just click and drag and you get that nice details of the hair and removing the background like that and zoom out and I think it looks great click OK and here we go we got that background removed and 
This is the way we're gonna use Photoshop to remove the background. You, there are other ways such as uh, object selection tool, something like that, or you can go to select and color range. You can use color range as well. So if you want to learn more about how to remove uh, different ways of removing background in Photoshop, we can create another tutorial on that. But right now I have removed the background. There's another way which I'm gonna use in our next picture uh, where I'm gonna use the AI tool to remove the background and it's amazing. So I'm gonna show you that as well. So here it is. Now let's uh, begin working for our design. So what I need next is I need a duplicate of this. Okay, I create a duplicate and for this one, I, I need the background as well. So remove the background uh, mask, right? And delete it. And we got the original image and the background removed image. Because as you can see for our text, we need that background as well. But for the background, we need to remove the background. So we need two images, one with the background, one where image has been background has been removed. So here it is. Now we need a text. So I'll just type out a text. M O R E more. And for this, we're going to use the font area. So let's scale it up. Go to text here and type out A R I Arial and select this Arial black regular. Here we go. Now I'm going to scale this up similar to this much and around this much okay and i'll place it around here and we'll do the adjustments like spacing between the alphabet so we can keep this around 100 and we'll set the spacing between the alphabets around approximately 600 point as you can see our document size is around 5000 by 2000 that's a prox so according to that uh we need the font spacings to be around 600 that is 596 and i'll place it here okay and now we'll uh, clip our image to our text so to do that i'll bring the text below our image and with the alt pressed you can see this icon click on the text and it will be snapped so the image has been uh, masked in the text so here it is if i remove the background here you can see the image has been masked and now i'll add some stroke so double click on this and if i add stroke you can easily add strokes here something similar to that and we are looking something like this but uh there is something which i'm going to talk about here here you can see the edges are not sharp but for our design we need a sharp edge text border so for this, we will not be using this stroke option, so I'll just cancel it. And what I'll do is I'll convert this into shape. Okay. And now we'll go to shape tool, select it, and go to our stroke, choose white color, and increase the stroke thickness. And make sure that our alignment is outside. And now let's increase the stroke thickness. So just increase it according to our requirement, something like this. And here we go. The text with a border is ready. Now let's do some adjustments. Here you can see their background image is not visible. So what I'll do, I'll select the mask, select brush, okay, and select black color and just paint it here. So I'm just removing the visibility of the image that is on the back like if i had this you can see i'm just i'm masking out this extra region which is visible over here right and i'll just remove from here from here and yep something like that and now i'll just uh, remove this from here as well just click and click maybe better way is using the rectangular selection tool i'll just click and drag and fill it up with color command D and here we go now I'll select all these command D and scale it down a little bit place it around here get a little bit and enter so overall our text is ready image has been amassed using the text so this is a nice look now we need to work on our other elements that is this graphic so basically this is a small circular shape and I have added a given a color, something like that. So I'll just uh, select these things, make sure it's grouped. I select this and this, select this and drag and just place it over here. Uh, we'll select this. This is a line. This is just a line from here. 
I've just drawn it out so just select that that and that and just place it around here now this is a pattern design which I have we have created for this so we need to create a pattern for this so let's create a pattern so for that let's uh, open a new file set it to 200 by 200 pixel resolution to around let's say 300 or maybe anything uh, 300 pixel resolution just to get that nice details and now uh, we'll select the line tool and from one corner click with a shift press to the other corner diagonally right and fill this up with a black color so we'll go over here and here just make sure it's black color here also it's black color and increase the thickness 200 pixel and make sure the line is normal stroke and this 100 pixel and right now we'll go to layer create a duplicate of it right now select this and go to filter others offset and we'll offset this when we do smart object right and we'll offset this to plus 100 okay and we'll create another duplicate of it uh, double click on the offset and we'll make it to minus 100 so this will bring uh, it on top one here and one under here and click OK. Now we'll save this as a pattern. So we'll go to edit define patterns and give it a name something pattern to click OK. Now we'll go to our file and let's um, create a pattern. So we'll go on top layer select the top layer and we'll go over here click pattern and we'll add a pattern here choose the pattern which we want that is this one OK and uh, reduce the size. So we'll reduce the size okay like you can choose you can make this zero reduce the size okay and we got that nice pattern now we'll mask out the region so to mask out the other region and we just need the circular region i'll select the rectangle tool and just select the whole rectangle right and now select the circular ellipse tool that is optical marker tool and just create a circle ellipse tool similar to this so with the alt and shift pressed you can create a circle nice circle similar to this and by pressing the space bar you can move around so place it around here scale up the size a little bit then again press the space bar and place it around here properly and now apply mask that is uh, apply black color alt backspace and the entire other region has been masked out and only this region is visible now we'll add a solid color to change the color of this so go over here and add solid color choose something yellow so we'll pick a color from here okay make it brighter and okay and just so apply clipping mask with the all press click and it will be applied over here and uh, you can easily tweak the patterns you if you want a thinner one you can just click this or thicker so it depends on you you can create multiple number of patterns something like thick pattern or thin pattern by tweaking on our main file like if you go over here if you want this thinner you can just go in right selecting this uh selecting the line and just uh, make sure it's 50 pixel so 50 enter in the same way double click go in there selecting this place right 50 pixel enter and just file save it and in our file over here it's done and after that we'll go to edit and define pattern and you get this nice thin pattern similar to this like this and here we go click ok so now our first design almost ready last thing we'll do some color correction so we'll add a curve adjustment layer on top simple and we'll just add a point over here and drag it a little bit down and add up one other point over and drag it a little up the color correction has been done we have added a text we have given a nice pattern design over here in adobe photoshop now let's create another design using the same techniques and same steps so here is our second design which we're going to create using the same techniques and same tools so let's begin so it's very simple it's going to be very easy so this one i'm going to just drag and drop it over here and here we go i'll just place it in the center enter now to remove the background we're going to use the ai tool and we're going to use an ai tool that's available for free on online so i'll go to chrome and uh, search clip clip drop dot go dot stable diffusion so if you just uh, clip drop uh, in google you'll find this 
website and this is a free AI tool. So we'll go to tools and you got all the options, image upscaler and remove background. So we're going to use uh, remove background and image upscaler. So I'm going to show you this. So it's free. So I'm using this. It's very easy and it's uh, it removes all the background very accurately. So I'll just click remove background and we'll, I'll just drag and drop it this image. As you can see, the image is very dark and as a beginner, it will be very difficult to remove the background in Photoshop, even if you know the tools. So we're going to use this, right? And just click on remove tool and the AI will remove it. So click downscale and continue. And within a few seconds, the background will be removed and the background is removed. Now I want to upscale it a bit. So I'll go to edit and upscale and upscale. So this will upscale the size. And here it is. You can see the difference. Lower version, higher version, download it. And now I got it in my download folder. Here we see it. So I'll just drag and drop this to our file now. So click and drag and drop. Enter. I'll just do the placement properly. Command T and Enter. Okay, see the position, it's perfectly aligned. We got these two images. One is without the background and one is with the background, similar to the same tutorial. Now, we'll type our text, B O L T and Command T, scale this up, change the font size to white. And for this, we're going to use uh, Avenue Bold. So I'll just go to alphabet the same. And under character, choose A, V, E. And we're going to use Avenue Black, this one. So I'm going to use Avenue Black and we'll do uh, some tweaking with the position of the text. So let's first scale this up. Okay, this much. Enter. Now we'll reposition each of the alphabets according to our requirements. So first, I'll just move these alphabets. So I'll go over here. Yes, using a text tool, just select this text and under character attributes, move the position on the right side and move it up a little bit and we'll scale up the size of the alphabets. Okay, and we'll move it down a little bit. We'll do the others as well. I'll just make sure it's a little bit upward. So just move, bring it up. Okay, and for D, we'll push it on the other side using this so we'll push it on the other side the o should be around here the font should be a little bit more bigger between uh, l and d i need to remove the spacing so just select d okay and bring it up for o and l we'll bring the spacing down as well so i'll just bring down the space in between and overall We'll scale up the size now. So now we'll use clipping mask. So I'll just bring this image on top of our text and apply clipping mask. Simple. And now double click on the text and apply stroke. And for this, we don't need to uh, give that uh, corner. We are okay with the round corner. So I'm fine with this. We have given a stroke thickness around. Uh, make sure it's outside. Okay and adjust the stroke thickness according to your requirements so we'll just see over here compare the thickness so i think this much thickness is fine click ok right and we'll just mask out the unwanted region and before that you can see the l shape is around here so we need to push it on the other side before that so i'll just go into text again and i'll push l go to character attributes and Push the L on the other side a little bit and D as well. So select D and push it on the outside, something like that. And now selecting this lower region, so lower image, yes, and apply mask. And with the brush tool, with the black color selected, just and hide out this region. So just paint it on. Just uh, remove this region and here and we'll leave this region. We'll remove this uh, from here from the center as well and from the region from B. And here we go. We got that nice look cool effect there. Now I'll just reposition them selecting them. 
mark control T shift it on the other side and scale it down a little bit uh, simply scale it down we'll add some background so I'll add a new layer bring it on back or backspace double click color overlay and choose a color hair or her scarf so choose a color from the image similar to it and click OK this is not a final color so now we'll uh, do some color adjustments so we'll add a new adjustment layer so on top of the layer select this and add curve adjustment layer and we're gonna choose red and increase the redness okay then choose green increase the greenness a little bit and blue increase the bluish tone a little bit this will add that freshness to the image and overall select rgb and make it a little bit brighter and now we'll do some adjustment with the background so we'll just pick the color and make sure it's similar to this and make it a little bit okay and here we go we got that nice background now lastly i'll just uh, bring in this text drag and drop and place it there and here we go our second design is ready so we have used clipping mask option we have used layer mask uh, to remove this unwanted region which we don't want it to be visible on our design and we have applied pattern by creating our own pattern for our design and created this amazing text effect design in this next tutorial so we're going to use clipping mask or layer mask option to create a few more amazing designs and concepts using the same tech tools but using different techniques so don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing don't forget to like share and subscribe this channel thank you